How did we go? Well, it went good and bad and everything in between, as usual. We'll be looking at how I've missed out on about 1K profit in total, not just from this week, but that's been an ongoing trade. But we'll look at that more closely. We'll look at some of my performance in terms of my wins that I've had and the trades I've taken on some of the experimental setups. Uh, if you're interested in what I'm up to and you want to actually be more informed as I am trading, taking those trades, then do head over to my Telegram channel. I'm going to share my screen so you can see it. This is the Telegram channel. And in here are all the trades that I've called, why I'm taking them sometimes, and also what my risk structure is, how much I'm risking on the trade, when I'm closing it, uh, etc. I'm sharing all that in my Telegram channel. I don't share that anywhere else. So head over there and you can be part of it. And you can see how things unfold and how I am managing as these trades are going in profit or going against me so anyways let's get started with our little analysis as always let's look at my fx account you can see here this week i have 284 bucks in profit that is not bad what's more important is the pip difference uh, 155.5 pips wise is more important than the actual dollar amount well I am taking a lot of trades that I call experimental, as in I am not as confident in them as in their mean reversion setups that are usually higher time frame setups, which take time to come, which is why I've started to experiment with other setups as well. And so I'm trading smaller, I'm trading smaller on these. So 155.5 uh, is like basically 30 pips a day or something like that over five days, which is not bad. It's not, not stellar, but it's not bad. But imagine, you know, I, if I had like, you know, uh, $10 per pip or something like that, it would be a 1.5K profit, uh, which is really nice. So that is a more important number than really the dollar amount, though I usually advertise the dollar amount because most people think in dollar amounts, not in pip amounts. So anyways, let's look at some of those trades that I have taken. I've already prepared some of it in here, so it's going to be easy. Here's one of the trades that I found good. Uh, I was long on EA. Uh, EA stands for Euro AUD. And you can see it here, the setup, how I went in. I had a stop loss down here. I had a profit target up here. This is a channel that's coming down. Let's go over here. I've already opened it here so you can see it. Here I had that line drawn here, which I've taken out from now on. This area here is a channel that it was going down. It was somewhat bottoming at the channel and it was bottoming at this line, which is at the four hour chart, this line. Uh, and so it, it, I was like, you know, there's a, there's a good chance this is going to bounce here and I'm going to take a long position, which is what I did. And lo and behold, it bounced. Let's go a bit down so you actually can see it here. It bounced pretty hard. It went up. It went beyond my profit target but i did not take profit i didn't have it in the system i thought you know there's a good chance it's going to be a breakout out of this downward channel or wedge or whatever you want to call it uh, because of that support line so i thought there's a good chance it's going to happen and then what happened well look it went up let me make this a bit bigger it went up and it came down and i stopped out for a small profit so it went up had a little retracement came further up and it was up here, I thought, yeah, I'm gonna move my stop till here, just below the recent low, because if this is a breakout and we are gonna transition into a bull trend, then we shouldn't be going lower than my, this, this uh, higher low here. That was my reasoning. And of course, what happened after I got stopped out, it took off again, went up even higher. I would have made a lot of nice profit on it, but I got stopped out for a very small profit so what am i learning from this well i personally think i might have been a little bit too aggressive with the move off the stop loss it is not a bad idea to move the stop so i don't think the decision was necessarily bad to move the stop to to here uh, however you need to look at the context of this trade and so there's multiple time frames that are coming together here and so you have this one here you need to you're going to have a you have going to have a nice nice breakup uh out of the channel Right, so out of this trend line here, that you can just imagine that, that this here is breaking out above. It's gonna try to come back down before it's gonna go further up, which it did. So, you know, overall the trade was nice, but it's basically, um, you know, the major liar, higher low or lower low trend reversal that Al Brooks calls it. 
which is a break above a trend line, A, trying to resume the trend, failing, and here making a higher low and then taking off again. Now, obviously, this is not a major higher low trend reversal on the one hour chart, as you can see that failed and actually you know, broke the trend line. Uh, but on the five minute chart, you have this downtrend and then this a decent reversal that you make it. A, I made a I would have made a decent profit on it. And so I didn't take that into account. So I should have taken that into account. That was a, a mistake from my side. And I went home with, I don't know, 12 bucks or something like that, instead of like making 90 bucks or something on this trade, which is, uh, well, it is what it is, right? Um, and then on that day also did GC, uh, a GC trade, but I'm not going to go over that because otherwise the video is going to get too long. I've traded actually GC quite a lot uh, in this week. As you can see here, I've taken a short on GC and I was expecting going down. It was basically going up and it was coming down. It had really big sell off this on the five minute chart. Let me make it a little bit bigger for you to see. So you can see it uh, a bit closer. You can see this breakout right here is massive. It's just coming down. Again, this is more of an experimental setup, basically from Al Brooks saying, hey, look, if you have this channel, which is basically a breakout, chances are you're gonna go lower and you might go lower for measure move from here all the way down here. Um, so that was the idea behind that. I'm usually not so comfortable with these kind of setups because what will happen a lot of times is it's gonna, break out it's gonna retrace you're gonna be in drawdown before you're gonna come further down and so you need to know that and you need to pre-plan that which i did at this time i didn't risk a whole lot on this trade because i wanted to play with that and understand this setup and how this has for in, in al brooks terms this has a higher probability you have a 60 percent probability that you're going to have a further move down versus for a 40 percent probability of it retracing and hitting your stop loss going all the way back up so it looked like a, a decent setup that I was like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna give that a try. Um, and so let me see, where was that? It was probably somewhere up here. That's right. It was probably this one here. I took that short and it went down before it reversed further up. And I don't actually remember whether this was a win or a loss, but let's look how, how it went afterwards. And then along on you see, I closed, that was 125 buck. That's from that's the swing trade. I'm gonna skip that for now. Uh, and then GC, there we go. That's the short position uh, that I have taken. It didn't do the 50% retracement, but it, it went further down and then it went to the trend line and I've added to it and I was uh, waiting. And basically it did not, respect the trend line very much. It just started kind of waiting and started to break above it. So I closed my add on very quickly. Uh, and then, um, so it, I had my add on, it went up and then it just dumped again afterwards. So it would have been a really nice trade that I've basically missed because I closed here. Now look at this. So I'm looking at this thing. Is this a, is this decision? You know the result, but if you're just looking at the result and you're making up your mind whether a trade is good based on the result, that's not a good idea. You need to look at the context. And so when I'm looking at the context overall, uh, this thing, for me, both would like, it is a 50-50 chance in my opinion at this point, because you have a nice sell off. You have another leg down. So you have two legs down. It's smaller than the previous one. You kind of you have a stalling. You're starting to have to, to break it uh, off the trend line. When I'm looking at it now, you could say this overall, this channel here is fairly tight. So a further downside is still likely. So I think that was a mistake, closing it, closing it a bit early, but it's not necessarily, I don't think it's a huge mistake because of the current price action here and how it's stalling, how it makes a, a high, a lower high, but then it makes a higher low. And so you could start having a higher high. But even then, what I could have done, I could have just moved my stop to up here. I think I did that, but then I closed it. Or I could have moved it to break even, be like, you know, news is going to come out. That was another reason why I closed it. I'm, I don't want to, you know, I don't have that much room to play with it. But anyways, it went down and it would have hit 
very nicely the the take profit again a missed opportunity so you can see you know this this week could have been a lot more profitable and there was another setup in ea where I, that i planned out that i didn't take and, and that would have hit profit as well there we go so closing and then you see recovered uh from trade and further we go to ea which i've taken a short that is a swing short that i've taken but i didn't hold that swing short all the way uh, so it started to break the four hour trend line here very decent vol uh, very decent uh, bear bars i was like we're gonna go lower and then it started to go up and sideways so i closed it at small loss later on throughout the week uh because i'm like mm, this starting to look more sideways action maybe we're gonna better push up so i was a bit unconvinced that i want to hold this uh and decided to close it whether it is a smart decision or not i you know for me at the moment it looks reasonable but it also looks reasonable that we still can have further downside action so anyways and i risked about the risk was 200 bucks but then i reduced my risk and then i instead you know my my uc trade that i had the long i decided to go short mainly because you know mentioned last week that there's this trading range it broke out of and i wanted to, my original take profit was somewhere up here and so i only took like 125 bucks home instead of like 800 bucks or something like that uh and what happened is it, it's stalling at this this resistance zone right here and so i think we are likely to go down and so i have been actually adding multiple positions to this total risk at the moment is 300 bucks to stop loss so it's a heavier position than usual but it looks really quite reasonable for me to assume that this might be a good point for it to reverse back down um so we'll see how that plays out next week and whether i'm going to make 300 bucks on that or not because i've one to one um stop stop loss to profit like one to one risk reward ratio so anyways oh and then we have another really nice gc trade so it came down you had the sell off it came down to this and let me actually show this because that's why i had this you have this channel which is visible on the four hours visible on the daily yes we had a break below it but then for the upside action installing in this area here you have a really nice sell off down and installing here which is what we are looking at here right now in this picture that's on the five minute chart and i thought this has a decent chance of uh basically breaking to the upside so it was in the trading range had very steep sell off decent trading range enough bars started to break out to the top kind of ranging again and then it broke out now i'm taking this trade and so i took this trade and it was a beautiful trade man this thing freaking went like a rocket up i'll just show you real quick there's not trade i'm gonna skip that because otherwise the video is gonna get too long look at that <laughs> it just freaking went up like crazy that was a very nice trade uh indeed because it was very brief as well but look at that i mean just freaking crazy it just goes up it hit my um, uh, take profit i this time i had it in the system but i had the thought you know this is a different scenario than ea because ea was in a channel coming down you needed to first break out come back down and then break out again this is different this has sold off right to the trend line it has already consolidated it's a good chance we're going to go up and we're going to go higher than that which is what we actually did as you can see i probably took profit somewhere here uh, somewhere here and it went all the way up here uh do i regret getting out no man that trade was a trade of discipline for me meaning get out at the target that you have decided and you know over time i can further refine my approach and be like i know i'm gonna let it run or i'm not gonna let it run that's gonna come with more experience then we have further uc going down ea where i'm getting out with some small losses as i'm going in i could have gotten out at break even with a small profit but I, you know i wasn't sure it's going to take off or not and that's another thing so now let's get to the big question well what's the 1k that i've left on the table it is the gu trade the gu trade was so freaking nice look at this it came up here i got in here at the top and i mismanaged it a bit and i got out and got back in and whatever you it's in the channel you can scroll through it if you want added here it went down uh and i got out somewhere here i believe it went all the way back to where i entered and it sold off i took profit somewhere here it was 200 bucks profit if i would have held till here let's say i've gotten out here not at the very bottom because my take profit was a bit lower than that was about here still if i gotten out here i would have made one to 1.2k on on the setup and i didn't 
uh, but it's part of the game. Um, as you can see on the higher time frame, it basically came down to the previous high, and then that acted as a pretty decent support, I would say, and started bouncing from here. So a really nice trade GU uh, that I missed out. I missed a lot of money on it, but this is something I'm I'm still undecided because Forex does have a very deep pullback sometimes and then just goes up and then further down. So I'm still experimenting. What's the right thing in terms of holding? When I was looking at it, how it was coming down with the bull with the bullish momentum coming in, I didn't think it was a mistake at that time. And even now, you know, uh, I'm not necessarily sure that was a mistake because the pullback was extremely deep, but it sold off again. Um, so you know it is what it is i, I as i'm going along i'm staying open-minded you know i'm not making conclusions but i'm i lean on the side of i think it was a decent decision to do that uh it of course sucks to leave 1k on the table but anyways these are some of the major setups that i've taken this week you can see a bunch of them are of, of the experimental side i'm going to be sizing up for next week not super heavy but i think it makes sense to a lot of the experimental setups do work out uh, if i stay disciplined and i actually stick to my take profit i think overall that's better if i have intuitions like with gc where i uh, thought i should let it run then that's a good idea uh because i would have made more money i can try that as well and the same thing like if i didn't misread uh ea uh, and just realize the action needs to come down again before it's going to go back up I, I would have made decent money on it as well so overall i'm really happy with how things have been going uh, everything's looking pretty positive uh, as i said come over to my telegram channel you can see me uh do all of this what i'm presenting here but you can see it live you can come and play with me as i do that uh, if you know anyone who is interested in these kind of videos uh, then share it with them i post twice a week i do a recap like this and then i uh, do you know some kind of video for for beginners or just relevant topics towards forex trading or trading in general that i cover the next one that's going to come out is going to be around risk management because it's such a really important topic to uh, cover because risk management is going to keep you alive so anyways i'm in profit now i've gone beyond break even which is really good to see and we'll see how the next few uh weeks are going to be all right am, am i going to go back down am i going to go and hit uh you know and grow this account to 2x as, as i want or not we'll see so anyways have a wonderful day and take care